Two. So should I be out there, You should be right there. <laughs> One. <laughs> we are on. It's the actor's cut. You here yeah. with your man, you were guy. I'm live with my man, Michael from the East. Yo, I'm live on Facebook Live, but this show is also going to be on TV. So uh, I would Ooh. say if you're going to miss it, but if you're watching it now, technically you're not missing it. You're not really. catching it. Word, word. Catch it again. Right when it's All playing. the time. Yes, and it's yes. going to be on the YouTube channel. True. Yo, I'm enjoying this. We got a hot guest on here tonight. Yes. Man, this dude is a singing sensation. Nice and, and, and it was just a choice. You know, uh, not, not like a choice. It was um, uh, uh, like a random meeting yeah. that I met him. You know what I'm saying? And he also knows my wife. And he was just like, when, he, when we <laughs> came down, he was like, yo. I was, I was like, yeah. But you know what? Yeah. I was telling her, I was like, <laughs> I, when I told you who I was married to, I was like, True. I know you will know, but yeah. <laughs> you won't know until you see, see her, her really. Yeah, you put exactly. it together like that. But I'm anyway, <laughs> small world. Word. And look, look where we are. True, true. This is networking. This is all love. This is all energy right here. This is all Takes positive energy. Be nice. energy. Of babe, once you know. again, this is my show, okay? <laughs> this, this, show. Babe, this is my show. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'll do it. I'll do the talk. <laughs> you see what I deal with? Do you see what I deal with? This is what True. I deal with. Yo, also, we looking right here at this camera. We True may not be able to see ourselves, but True. we're looking, we're right, looking there. right there. Though. You, you, it's a fact. <sighs> Babe, do you have anything else that you like to say before I start my show? <laughs> Okay, I love you, Chuck. Oh, <laughs> 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 Babe, this is my show. Wait. Okay, I'm gonna sit down. <laughs> Just keep the Facebook Live going. So, with no further ado, yeah. I want my man to introduce yourself right here to the viewing audience. Yeah. So, my name is Michael from the East. I uh, grew up in uh, Harlem, uh, born and raised. And uh, I'm a singer songwriter. Uh, yeah, and we uh, and right now um, I'm on the actors cut, mm -hmm. and um, it's an honor and a privilege to be here today. Man, yeah. I'm really glad that you're down here. Yeah, yeah. So you're from Harlem. Yes, sir. So now I really, when I meet people and they're in certain types of fields, yeah. I can really get a grasp for what they do. Yeah. And with you being from Harlem and Harlem being such a strong musical cultural community true, true. and having such a vast background now i can understand more because i've listened yo instagram and michael yeah. from the east yeah, yo, yeah. you can see <laughs> some of his performances you yeah. know I, your, your sound is real smooth thanks man yeah. so who were some of the people that you were influenced by when you were growing up growing up um and it's crazy like i didn't even think i was going to but i, I really was like so my dad, he would play like a lot of vinyl and everything. So like he, the first time like he dropped like James Brown mm -hmm. and um, he played it for me. And I believe the song was I Feel Good. Mm -hmm. Like it was sick. <laughs> it was sick. Like it was sick. And I was just like, yo, I would love to sing like this one day. And then like he played Al Green, Marvin Gaye. Uh, Curtis Mayfield, and, you know, the greats. Right. And I was just like, yo, I got to get up there someday, someday. Right. So right. I was just inspired by, you know, the goats of the game. You right. Know? Yeah, man. Yeah, and that's funny how, you know, like, when we were younger, because I, I can remember being younger, like, seven, eight, nine years old and, yeah. you know, having the families over at Thanksgiving yeah. and different holidays and listening to Rick James and, yeah. you know, B.B. King yeah. and all that yeah. and just, you know, yeah, being a little dude. And that's, that's really influenced because you listen yeah. to that and, and it even moves you back then as a child. That's exactly. why they say music is timeless. Yeah, so tell us, tell us about your vibe. Tell us about, you know, basically how you got started into singing and how you concepted your vibe, your style. Gotcha. So, I mean, it all started, like, it all started in, like, church. Um, you know, I was, uh, I was introduced to it, you know, uh, uh, by church and also by my grandmother. Because mm -hmm. um, at first, I didn't want to be a singer. Mm -hmm. uh, that was, like, the last thing on my mind. Like, the, what I really want to do is I want to become, like, a, a professional percussionist. Mm -hmm. Um, so my grandmother brought me my first drum set and everything. I sounded terrible on it in the beginning. <laughs> we all uh, did. You know what I mean? In the beginning? <laughs> exactly, <Sober>. exactly. <laughs> but, you know, with some time and prayer. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like, I, I eventually got better. Right. Um, and then, and then, like, hit me, you know, like, my junior year in high school. 
um, we had this big like event, like assembly and everything, and I I was playing the drums for it, mm -hmm. and then like a lot of people were like attracted, like attracting to me, like a lot of people were like congregating, like gathering around me and everything. So I was just like, oh, this is tight, and you know, after all that attention, um, started like getting friends and everything like that. But then I had one friend, his name was Devonte, mm -hmm. um, he was a singer, but like. He can naturally do it, you right, know what I mean? Right. So like when he did and when he did it, like so many girls were like flocking around him, and I was like, man, I want that. <laughs> I want that. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, you know, jinx. You know, double jinx. <laughs> double jinx. Double jinx. I might owe you some. I, I I got you. I got you. But right. Chad, man, like I just I was just like I want that. I was like I I, I want that attention. I, I want to see if I could do it. So uh -huh. like I put some work into it and everything. My first song that I, like covered and it was in high school was Neo So Sick. Uh -huh. Um and like that's when that song was bumping. Right. And um right. that's that's still a you classic. Know, you know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All Sorry, that. I just broke out in the groove. Nah, that's real, real, man. That's real, man. I did want to get a girl and run through the snow with her. Right. And all that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like <laughs> but like yeah, man, like it was it was tight. It right. was tight. And then like, you know, a um, couple of years like after just practicing, practicing trial and error, like finally like, you know, cultivated my sound and mm -hmm. I got it now. Uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah. Man, so y your sound, how would you like mm. kind of like describe it or put it in like what category yeah. would you put it in? So it's just like it's so I would have to call it alternative R&B, mm -hmm. just because, you know, I, I know I'm on the R&B side, but at the same time, just the, sonically, like what you hear and everything, it's not your, like your traditional R&B, right. or just what you're used to. So I, I would definitely call it alternative R&B, um, mix of soul in there too, because um, I'm super, um, uh, I'm like super all over the place when it mm -hmm. comes to genres. Mm -hmm. Like one day, like I can be R&B or soul, and then next day I can like Good hit you with rock. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And then like also I can hit you with funk and everything like that, and some hip hop blends also. So you know, it's a blend of like a lot of genres because I'm super eclectic. But if I categorize myself with any genre, it would definitely be alternative R&B. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. So, what do you think? Um, I don't know. I, I know I ask a lot of people if they have like um, certain people that they like now, but I know yeah. a lot of people say, you know, I don't really listen to anybody or, you yeah. know, I'll be on my own vibe. Yeah, a lot of people um, say that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right. And you're I right. mean, that's true, but we all, you know, kind of listen to something a little. Right. Uh, um, not even that if you, if, if you listen to anybody, but who would you say right now yeah. out there is like really like, in charge of the game, like on an R and B, on an R and B level, that's really a, doing their thing. Yeah, like on an R and B tip, like, and there's like a good like, it's probably like a good four cats that like I really like look at, you mm -hmm. know, in that aspect. Um, it would most likely be, you know, Frank Ocean, um, Miguel, mm -hmm. uh, Chris Brown, and then last cat, just this new guy. He's like the youngest one out of all, them, Daniel Caesar. Mm -hmm. And um, those guys, I feel like they're just killing. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Just like content-wise, performance-wise, mm -hmm. just all around. Like they just give you exactly what you need for the times. Right. So um, it's definitely like you know what I um, yeah. It's definitely what I look to. Like if I like need some inspiration, but for like today. Right. Um, yeah. Right. That and and that's a good list. Yeah. And the last one, who did you say, Daniel? Who? Daniel Caesar. <laughs> Daniel Caesar, I'm sorry. Excuse me. You put me on to something new because gotcha. I haven't heard about him. But yeah. those other three, Frank Ocean, yeah. uh, Chris Breezy, uh -huh. and who's the other one I said? Miguel. Oh, yeah. yeah. Classic. Yeah, Dude, man. their vibes, you know what I'm saying, and just their grooves. And it, it, they, like, I can really say that those are, like, artists that put you in a, a, a type of mood, you exactly, know what I'm saying? Exactly, exactly, Like, man. you know what I'm saying? Like, I... I, I I just be like I will throw on some Chris Brown real quick and yeah. just exactly he'll make be you in a move, crib man. practicing yeah. my moves <laughs> in the mirror like ah exactly exactly remember that you know, yeah. all of that <laughs> man yeah that's a good list right there that's true, a good man. list true true so let's talk about where would you like to see the music industry mm. take a turn for what what like. If you have any concerns or issues like with mm. the music industry, what would you change about it to make it different for 
artists, producers, mm -hmm. um, anybody really that's in this game that, you know, this is a hard game to get into. Right. And then when you're in it, it's even harder to stay in. Exactly, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what, what issues that you see as an artist that you would like to change that you maybe have came up against or even just thought about? Um, and I think it like, and, and it all stems to like, you know, what's, uh, what's perpetuated like through media and everything. Um, basically I would say like, I would definitely like take out just the levels. Mm -hmm. Like it seems like you have to have like a certain status to be with like a certain circle or you have to have a certain status to be in a certain room. Um, I feel like that is, you know, that, that, that's unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Um, plus when we're like talking about art. Because art is like you know super organic, you know the art is art is freedom, right. you know what I mean. Right. So it's just like why would I, why would I put a limit on that just based off maybe my income, the people that follow me, mm -hmm. um, I, I guess like how many views I have or things of that nature, or even like just um, even just like uh, where my music is at currently. And I understand that like, people have pride and, you know, egos do get in the way mm -hmm. and everything. A lot. Um, way then, more than they should. Exactly. And then, like, also, you know, I, I'm not, like, I'm not fully in the industry like I would like to be right now. But it's just, you know, from what everyone's telling me that is in it, you know, they're just basically saying, you know, might keep your, like, circle close and everything because, like, you can't really trust anybody. Mm -hmm. I would love to just take that away. You know, and if we can all just be on like equal mm -hmm. footing, you know, equal ground, I feel like we understand each other a lot more. You right, know, right, right, yeah. right. And that's and that's the key of having a secure circle. Yeah. That you feel comfortable with. All right. Not only business wise, yeah. but personally too. Yeah. Because I mean, these are people that's gonna be around you. They're gonna you're gonna be traveling with them. You're yeah. gonna get to know each other's families exactly. and so forth like exactly. that. And you know, you, it's it's good to have that comfort level, you yeah. know, to have like <clears throat> Whenever I sign my contract, man, I want it to be like so simple. I want it to be like, <laughs> I'm getting paid ten million dollars for this. <laughs> By such and such. True, true. Sign my name true. and date. I, I, I totally don't want agree any with that. all those here two four twos and where two and yeah. from this day forth. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't. speak like that. Yeah. I, let's keep it in layman's terms. But true, I, true. That, that that's very that's yeah, very important man. to have. Yeah. You know, a close circle because you know what I'm saying like these are. I, I always say you know you you want to match yourself with people that. You're on the same path with, word, word. you know what I'm saying? Progression yeah. is my favorite word. I say that all the time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Progression, like, <clears throat> I never feel content even when I feel like I've gotten to something that I've, no, I still know there's something more right. that I can learn. So right, progression right. is key. And these are people that you're going to progress with. Right, right. So it's only natural and it's only right to have that good, comfortable feeling with them exactly. and to be able to, you know, trust people. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. That you're dealing with, right. that's dealing with your career mm -hmm. and your life. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That that's 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 important. True. Yeah, that's important. Yeah, man. So, what do you see? Let's talk about. Mm -hmm. Let's talk. You got a the your album. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Yeah. So, so let's give them the the yes, title yes. of that and where so, they can find that real quick. Yeah. And let's talk about that and how this concept came around. Right. Right. So. We have an EP out. Um, I call it a wave demo, uh, just because sonically um, it's just wavy. Mm -hmm. uh, but <laughs> <It's wavy. laughs> yes, <Yeah>, sir. <laughs> but uh, you know, I called it uh, the Crooner Seventeen, mm -hmm. uh, just because you know, back to when I was talking about earlier, you know, my influences, everything, uh, the Marvin Gaye's, the you know Al Green's, even like Curtis Mayfield. Like in my like, uh, in my mind. Mm -hmm. Like when I watch those guys like, you know, perform for like thousands and thousands of people, like all they have to do is stand there and just sing their heart out. You right. know what I'm saying? And, right. you know, when I look up the true meaning of that, it's it all falls under crooner. Right. So it was just like, you know, I feel I do that now. Mm -hmm. um, well, opposed to the thousands <laughs> and thousands of people. Not yet, but very soon. Right. Real right. soon. Yes, right. very soon. So, you know, that's definitely going to happen. But, you know, um, I, yeah, I see myself as a current crooner. Right. So that's the reason why I just called it the Crooner 17, just because, you know, we're in the year 2017, and, yeah, 
that's who I am. I like that. Yeah. How, yeah. Ma how many how many tracks you got on there? So I have five tracks on there, and I have like a bonus cover on there too. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. So if they wanted to download it or find it, where can they where can yeah. they where can they find that at? So we have it on we have it on all handles. We have it on SoundCloud. We have it on iTunes. We have it on uh, Tidal. We have it on Spotify. Uh, so would they just put in Michael from the East? Yeah, they just put Michael from the East, or you can just type in Crooner Seventeen. Crooner Seventeen or Michael yeah. from the East? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice. And it'll just go directly to the album. Oh, very nice. Yes, sir. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. <laughs> so who were the, some of the who were the, some of the people that you work with uh, yeah, putting so, this album together? So I work with uh, my manager Tone. Tone. Uh, yeah, yeah. RSVP. <laughs> I can't even see you over there. Yeah. Man. You're in the corner, man. You lay back in the cut. <laughs> Chilling in the cut. You're right. Gangsta lean. Ha ha ha. All right, my bad. I was cutting up there, man. You're about to have us cutting up there. I always be acting up. Man. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> nah, my wife cool. tell me all the time, stop acting up. I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry, back nah, to the cool. schedule programming. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> so who are some of yeah. the people that you work with on this, so uh, on this pro uh, project? So on the project, I uh, worked with, uh, like I said, my manager, Tone, uh, my, my main boy, uh, yeah, uh, Sam. Mm -hmm. He's my producer and engineer. Uh, my big bro, Javon. Uh, also, um, and my big bro, Javon, he helped me like with writing mm -hmm. some of the uh, material. Um, also, my uh, boy Jermaine, mm -hmm. we call him JJ. He okay. always plays the keys, so like you know, you hear the melodies on there. That's definitely him. Right. Um, then we also have uh, my boy Sean, who's a uh, he's my go-to guitarist now. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, you can definitely. It's it's on one of the songs called "Want." You hear this mean guitar solo. That's all him. Uh, he put his heart into that. And uh, also, uh, shout out to my. Uh, I mean, I haven't, I haven't spoken to him in a while, but shout out to my boy Khalid mm -hmm. uh, because he helped me write my song Fire. Okay. That um, really helped me uh, figure out where I wanted to go sound wise. Right. So, big, big shout out to Khalid um, for helping me write like one of the songs like I'm like proudest of to date. Right. Yeah. Right, right. <clears throat> and. You have a show coming up soon, right? Yeah, yeah. The, uh, December seventh. December seventh, yeah. At the Delancey. At the Delancey, yeah. So let's, you know, um, do you know the exact address? I, but it, I, I listen. I know where the, the Delancey is. Cause I've been there. <laughs> so all you got to do is go to Delancey Street. True that. You get off the train station. It's like two it's right blocks there. down that it's way. It's literally right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you got to do. Literally, yeah. December seventh. Come yeah. see my man. Michael from the East. True, true. What time are you going to be blessed in the stage? Yeah, I'm going to be over there like around 8 o'clock, so. 8 o'clock. Yeah. Get there at 7. Yeah. You hear yeah. me? <laughs> Get there at 7. And Stand around and wait. Three. For true, my man. true, true. <laughs> true. We're going to cut up in there. Yeah, we're going to cut very, up in there. Very, yeah. very nice. Yeah. So do you... Uh, do you do you perform a lot around town? Do you get a chance to do a lot of performances? I do, I do. Um, you know, started out in Harlem. Uh, first big show was at this spot called Harlem Nights. Shout out to Claude, who owns Harlem Nights. He's awesome. Okay. Uh, Shout out to did, Claude. Yeah, man. Um, we did our first show there, our first big show. Okay. Um, it was awesome. Like, the crowd was wild. Uh, the crowd was, like, singing with me. The crowd was, like... You know, ask for encores and all that. It was tight, man. Uh -huh. And then uh, feels good, right? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love it too. Feel great. <laughs> it feels good when you perform. Yeah, and knock them out. yeah. Oh man. And then um, you know, after that and anything, I started uh, just going to like different like shows. Started networking a lot more. Um, also, like met some really cool cool cats, mm -hmm. uh, so young people too. Like you know, just like myself, just in the underground though, mm -hmm. but just mm -hmm. working the underground scene. So I started out uh, really getting there just to grow up, the f just to grow the following. So, um, I so I have to give another shout out to uh, my boy uh, Soul, because mm -hmm. uh, he uh, if I didn't meet him, I probably wouldn't have met like half of the people that I've met like at these shows, and probably wouldn't have had some of these opportunities. And right. shout out my boy Ralph too. Um, and also, uh, we we aren't on the best of terms right now, but shout out to this girl I know, Rocky. Mm -hmm. uh, she really helps me out mm -hmm. a lot too. So. Shout out, Rocky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it in, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Bring it in. It's all love. It's all love. Past is the past. True, true. Past is the true, past. It's all love. True, true. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's right. I showed her love. Bring yeah, it man. You did. You did. Bring it in. We got to yeah. see. We, listen. Yeah. The, the, this is one of the times where, you know, especially right now in our social state right. where 
we don't really have any time to be hating on each other because we have too many other people hating on us <laughs> for us. You true know that, what I'm saying? True that, true that. So, I mean, you know, and I know a lot of people have, you know, I have, you know, discrepancies with people in the past or whatever. Yeah. And I know other things will happen. But the one thing that you have to be aware of and have to be able to do is communicate and yeah. work it out. Yeah. A lot of things could just, you know, if people just swallow their pride a little bit and mm -hmm. just, you know, say, like, I, I have no problem communicating, yeah. you know, and I'm, and I will be honest, you know, when I was younger, I really didn't know how to, I felt like you're not going to sun me or whatever, whatever, <laughs> but now, hey, I'll talk it out. Hey, yeah. let's talk it out, man. Like, what's yeah. the what's the issue? Yeah. You know, we, we might end up having a drink after that. You know it's what I'm fact. saying? It's, it, it's not even really that serious that it's not. most of the time. It's not. We need more of that. We need more love. Facts. Let's show more love because Facts. this is a time now where everybody is really coming together. And I'm not just saying in communities. I'm talking about everybody all over the man, world the is spectrum. bonding. Yeah, you know what man. I'm saying? Yeah, man. And this is a very critical time because it's brought out a lot of the hypocrites in True. society True. that we see a lot of people for who they are now. Yeah. And it's also brought out more people and way more people who are activists for the positive changes that should be going about yeah. in yeah. today's world. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes people say that this presidency was a disaster. Yeah, maybe so. <laughs> it also helped bring a lot of things to light. Yeah, it yeah. also helped bring a lot of things to light. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. hey, l l l let's show love to each other. Yeah. Let's join together. Yeah. We got enough people against us that any issues that we have, we can just squash and make some good music, true. you know, take some trips, you true, know, true. overseas somewhere yeah. Yeah. on the blues. Seeds, you know, sipping some champagne, facts, you know what I'm facts. saying? Even some you Hennessy. Know? Oh, man, some <laughs> Hennessy, you know what I'm saying? Just living <laughs> life, enjoying it. Yeah. Man, I love enjoying life. True, true. I love life. Word. It's awesome. Word. It's awesome to be Word. alive. Word. Make it your best one. Right. You only get one. That's why I said make it your best one. Right. Probably said make it your best two, that you'd be the video, a video game. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you're a video game. No, anyway, I don't think so. <laughs> before we close out, I want to get you to go ahead. I want you to sing some a cappella for them, so, you know, okay. it's a little something. Yeah. And, you know, then we also going to have some bonus footage for that YouTube channel. Yeah. So you just going to stay tuned. Yeah. But I also want you to go ahead and give them your information, you know, your okay. social media platforms, you know, and any little advice, you know, yeah. that you can give to any artist right yeah. now that's in this industry that's, you know, on that same path that you are, you know, yeah. striving to become the greatest, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, go ahead, it's on you, my friend. Okay, all right, so, this song is, uh, the song Fire, uh, i just give you a little, little bit of it. Yeah, 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 there it is, yeah, yeah. Send darling, it's only you. Yeah. On my 360 feel No, 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 no I only think of you, girl No, no, no The effects of this new feel Yeah, yeah, that's right Cause I get lost in your touch, girl No, 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 no I get high in your presence Yeah and I get down soon as you leave, girl. Uh. A full four of you wants discretion. Uh. No, 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 no. This girl, you got that fire. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Sing, girl, you got that fire. Na, 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 na. You're my number one desire. So, baby, take me higher. With your beautiful fire, no. Yeah, and I stop. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My man. Yeah, yeah. At Michael from the East. <laughs> Holla, boy.
<laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's nice. Thanks, bro. So Thanks, do you bro. do a lot of writing on your own or, 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 or what? Um, yeah, yeah. I do I do a lot of writing on my own, but I also do some collaborating too. Right, right. It's Cause all I, important. Yeah, because I don't I don't like because like, you know, like it's cool like to write on your own. It's cool to get, you know, your, your But you also want that outside influence exactly. too because you know you get that different vibe. Cause like you know I be listening I mean? to some people's songs sometimes and I'll be like singing like they should have put this right there, right? You know, put that exactly. Right there. exactly. I'll be harmonizing. Like, exactly. <laughs> and I ain't gonna I ain't gonna close myself off to that blessing. Right. You know what right, I'm right. Yo, hey, man. that that was that was fire. Thanks. Not man. A cliche. That was fire, <laughs> my G. Thanks, Yo, man. And you got a great voice, Thanks, man, man. And I'm glad that I could have you on the show. Thank you, man. Go ahead, man, and give them all your social media platforms yeah. where they can find you. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So on all handles, um, all social media is literally Michael from the East. Uh, no spaces, uh, no asterisks, no underscores, none of that. It's um, all Michael from the East. Uh, also, like I said before, on all platforms, uh, if you type in Crooner17, um, you can find my album right there. And it's on Spotify, iTunes, Tidal, SoundCloud, The Works. Um, and uh, yeah, and also we also uh, have uh, some upcoming shows. Um, and we're going to also, you know, promote that on our social media. And then coming soon um, and I'd say probably in the summertime mm -hmm. we do have a new project in the works so I hope you guys are ready for that very nice yes yes very yes, nice yes and I'm I'm just sure f I'm, I'm positive from what they've heard and seen tonight that yeah. everybody is on it yeah you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. and that everybody is looking forward to True. you know not only this project but the next project and like yeah. I said uh, the Delancey, December 7th. True. Be there. Yes, yes. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. My man Michael from the East yeah, yeah. is going to be on stage. <laughs> like I said, be there at 7 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Have him a couple bottles ready. Yeah. All side to the stage. You know what I'm saying? What you like? Hennessy? Hennessy. Hennessy. Couple Hennessy. bottles of Hennessy. Yeah. The good stuff. What's yeah. that? Pure white? You know what I mean? No, oh. no, dark water. Dark? Uh, okay. Brown. Oh. Hennessy? It's that brown. I need a sponsorship. I just said your name. Hey, I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying. Hennessy, rock with us. Rock with us. <laughs> Shout us out, Nas. <laughs> Say something. Right. right. Word. Yo, well, man, Mike. Yeah, man. I really appreciate you coming down. Thank you, man. Thank you for being on the show. Thank appreciate you for you. blessing us with your story yeah. and, you know, just. Bless us with another great interview for the Actors Cut, man, and just, yeah. you know, being a great artist and yeah. uh, just continuing to inspire more people. And, and man, I, I really wish you the best, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to be following you, and right. I'm going to be at that show at the Delancey. Cool, cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're going to have some bottles. Facts. You know facts, what I'm saying? Facts. And we're going to make it happen. And like I said, you know, shout out to my man, RSVP, and he up in here. You yes, Facebook sir. Live, too? Yeah, I yeah. am. My oh, man. Yeah. It's my brother, man. <laughs> It's my brother. My phone just died. Oh, it's it. my brother. Well, <laughs> don't worry. My man Ant still got it. Thank you. Man. You know what I'm saying? True, my true. man Ant still got it. My you brother know what I'm saying? always we, we, we can share the video. We loking, we we linking up. My Yo, brother's cute. The actress cut. Your man, Uber guy, Michael from the East. Every Wednesday. Peace. Yes. We out. Yeah, yeah. That was tight. Yeah, but now we got the behind the scenes yes. bonus footage true, for the YouTube true. channel. True, true, true. Yo, so babe, where's my charger? I plug my phone in. Well, plug. I couldn't find you. It's in your you purse. Saw... It's oh, a charger over there. No, but my phone, I yeah. don't have the emergency. It's okay. So, so, so what's up? You behind the scenes on the actor's cut. Yes. This is where I get my groove on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, my two step. One. Hey, two. Hey, hey, One. hey, 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 two. don't hurt him. <laughs> you can't mess up a two-step. If you mess up a two-step, you got one leg. Right. <laughs> and if you're black, I'm, you got to your black card. Right, yeah, right, right. You just got to right. give it up. <laughs> got to. So what I like to do behind the scenes, man, I like to give them, you know, a little bit extra, man. If you oh, want to, cool, cool. you know, sing some more, sing like, a, you know, oh, a yeah. nice little tune, man. Really, yeah. you know, a little something, you know, bless the people. Because, man, this is what it is. It's, it's all love, true, you know. True, true. Behind the scenes, the actors true, cut. True. And this, uh, this next song is actually a song I'm going to be chewing a video for. Okay. Uh, it's called Enough. Uh, so, my boy Sammy on the beat, he, uh, he produced this. Uh, okay, shout uh, out to Sammy on the beat. Uh, Girl, I'm bound to you. Yeah, yeah, uh. Ain't a thing I can do that's true. Uh. 
You're the only one that moves me like the good word. Or maybe like Serena with a good sir. Affected by your looks, give me fever. And why get that girl running deep? Uh, it's all right, hands on three, yeah. Take a chance with it since I'm in deep. Take a hit of it straight in dope. Might trap for it right through the trap. Yeah, and like that, it's a wrap. Cause nothing else matters to us, yeah. No matter who's against us, yeah. Even if we're hopeless. Cause girl, I can't get enough of you, yeah. No girl, I can't get enough of you, no, no, yeah. No girl, I can't get enough of you. You won't get enough, darling, we're inseparable. No, we won't get her. No, we won't get her. No. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yo, that's hot, yo. Yeah, thanks, Rob. But, but, but that's why I was like, man, <laughs> you got to come be on the show, man. I've been watching your YouTube clips. And, yo, you like his yeah. cool demeanor right here? This is how he be on stage. I think he was actually on stage doing his taxes one time. So, cool. so laid back. He's like, yeah. Yeah, I had to get them what done. I had them. IRS is on me. I got it done. They <laughs> on me. They on I'm me. Like, I like this brother <laughs> right here, man. You know, and that's, and that's and that's a good vibe. Can I tell them how we met? Yeah. Uh, so yeah. this 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 young man right here is actually me and my wife's banker. True, true, <laughs> true. You know what I'm saying? So true. that's how we met, and it was funny because I went up there and I was like. Yeah, man, my wife, she want me to get a bank account. <laughs> you were. <laughs> you were. She won't let me open it anywhere else. Yo, you I, just said there. that. No, he said that. that. <laughs> he said that. He said it. He was like, I'm going to help you. <laughs> I was like, you're not like this dude right here. Sad. And we had a good conversation. No, we, we did, vibed. though. We did. We talked, you know what I'm saying? It was super and, cool. And I was telling you, I was like, I told you who she was, and I was like, he don't know who she is, but I was like, when, she, like, when he, he know sees who she her, is, right. he'll know who she is. Right. So, yeah, that's how we met. And yeah. you know what? That's, that's funny because, man, that's just how life is. Word. You never know mm -hmm. who you're going to meet. Right. You never know who you're going to run into. Right. You never know what type of relationship that's going to evolve right. from just a simple meeting. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, 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 I, I could have went in there and not met you. Mm -hmm. And then we couldn't have had this show cracking like that's this. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like that's crazy. Yeah. That's 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 it's it's like chance universal meetings, uh -huh. but it's things that are supposed to happen. Word. You know what I'm saying? Word. So yeah, that that that's how I met this young brother, man. Yeah. He's like yeah. he's like, yo, check this out. <laughs> I sing, bro. I'm the best. I was like, let me see your Instagram. Send this girl. I was like, yeah. I hit him back. I was like, yeah. So I was like, hey. Got to get you on the show. Word. You know what I'm saying? We network. Yeah. We politicked it out. Got you here true. on the show. True, true. Vibing on Actors Cut. Yeah. Yo, you want to do one more for him? Mm, yeah, why not? We're going to do one more for you. So, why Man, not? this is how we do here. Yeah, yeah. Babe, he's great, right? He's wonderful. Wonderful voice, right? Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. I didn't have to hear his voice to know he's wonderful. Yeah, he's <laughs> a good guy. He, He's a good guy in general yeah. because, you know, he could have still opened my bank account, but I probably wouldn't have liked him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because cause that's just how it is true, sometimes. True, true. And I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have, I would have just been there to do business. But when you meet somebody and you vibe with them Word. and you naturally just, you know, you just start yeah. vibing, yeah. you know, it happens. So, you know. Hey. Yeah, we connected, man. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah. My man Michael from the East. Yeah. One more for ya. So I'm gonna give you that bonus cover. Bonus. Uh, it's about my favorite, one of my favorite bands called The Killers. Came out with this song called When You Were Young. Okay. And um, I'm gonna sing a little bit of that. Just my rendition okay, of it though. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh. You sit there in your heartache Waiting on some beautiful boy to Save you from your own ways. You play forgiveness, watch it now, here he comes. Doesn't look a thing like Jesus, but you talk like a gentleman. I can imagine when you yeah. 
when you were young, when you were young, and I, when you, when you were young, when you were young. Yeah. Yeah. That's sad. That's sad. That's sad. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we just My yeah. man. Yes. Yo. So, man, just yeah. one more time. Give them yeah. all your the, all the handles. Uh, yeah. Yeah, your handles yeah. where they can, you know, Got get it. your music at. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, again, you can catch me on um, all social media. Uh, Michael from the East. Like I said, you ain't gotta do anything. You ain't gotta put any spaces there, dashes, asterisks, underscores, none of that. Straight it's on. just straight Michael from the East. Um, then, you know, on all platforms, uh, you can uh, type in Crooner17, Michael from the East, or just Crooner17, and you'll find the album. You'll vibe out. But, Hit that um, on SoundCloud, all of that. Shit, yeah, yeah, Everywhere. Yeah, yeah, Instagram, yeah. hit him up. True that, true that. Let this man perform at your bar mitzvah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Holla at me, Drake. <laughs> Holla at we me, Drake. We try to get that paper. <laughs> Drake, F with me. <laughs> so, man, man, Mike, thanks again, y'all. Yeah, man. I really appreciate you, appreciate you coming down appreciate and doing you, the man. show. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? It was a great interview. Thanks, Thank man. you for this bonus footage, man. This yeah, is how man. we like to do. We like to right, give you right. a little extra. We this like to cool. show you some love on the Actors Word. Cut because this is what we do. Thanks. So, watch us. Every Wednesday, do that five o'clock. Yes, yes. M&N, uh, yeah. channel 1993. That's right. Verizon Files, channel 37. Hit me on my Instagram, right. uh, handsome underscore good underscore grooming. Yeah. Facebook, you yeah. really guy junior. Yeah. I'm also a master barber. You want me to hit you up? I do all kinds of good stuff. Facts. Anyway, we right. gonna get up out of here. All right. Highlight your boy, yeah. the actors cut. <laughs> you were Lee Guy Jr. Michael from the East. Yes. Peace. Yeah, yeah. That rhymed. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it did though. It did. Though. <laughs> boy, natural with it. Yeah. We gonna we gonna dance off on it. That's it. Two step on. One time for the one. <laughs> <laughs>